uh, Assalamualaikum and a very good evening uh, from group 86 Lex 2049 I got news for you. Uh, today we'll be discussing about uh, article that are uh, more focusing on sports. So today each of us will be presenting our article that we read before. So before we move to further details inform uh, explanation, I would like to introduce myself. My name is Muhammad Arif Hakimi bin Muhammad Yusri. My metric number is 193473. I'm pursuing mechanical engineering. Afika? Hi, my name is Nur Afika binti Adinan and my matrix number is 193498 and I'm studying uh, mechanical and manufacturing engineering at Faculty of Engineering. Wan Abdul Farid? Hi, my name is Wan Muhammad Farid bin Wan Daud, matrix number 192106. I'm taking Bachelor of Mechanical Engineering. You see? Hi, my name is Ahmad Yusri Hakimi bin Muhammad Yusof. My metric number is 192356. I'm taking Mechanical Engineering. Amirul. Uh, hello, my name is Amirul bin Wani and my metric number is 192305. Okay, next, Atika. Hi, my name is Nurul Atika binti Makrazi. My metric number is 192161. I'm currently pursuing a Bachelor of Mechanical Engineering. Uh, Yusni. Hi, my name is Nur Asmaizu binti Roslan. My metric number is 192355. Currently taking Bachelor of Mechanical Engineering. Aisha? Hi, my name is Nur Aisha binti Zikifli. My metric number 192573. Uh, currently taking Bachelor of Mechanical Engineering. So everyone has introduced yourself. Uh, I hope you guys have uh, read articles regarding sports and ready to share what you have read. So who want to start first? You see? Hey. You you see want to talk something? I think I like like. <laughs> Okay, okay, I want to start. Uh, do you know Suma? Suma uh, should yes, have. Yes. yes. My eye. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, Suma uh, should take a uh, Joho uh, next year. Wait. <laughs> uh, I think Amirul should start first. I have a little problem. Okay, wait, wait. Can another person? So let me start why? first. Alright. Hello. Alright, Aisha. Huh? Okay, okay. Okay, uh, Aisha start first. Continue. Okay, I start first. Yes. So there are one spot that I want to share with you guys. And do you ever heard about horseback archer? No. 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 Uh, yes. Archer. No. Uh, so for those that are not, not ever heard about the spot, can you imagine riding the horse and at the same time aiming an arrow to the target? That sound not easy, right? Yes. 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 But but not for this woman, which is Irina Emelina. She surprises Malaysian people by winning gold medal in World Equestrian Archery Championship in Korea. Wow. Her success, wow. Her success uh, also surprising because She's become the first woman to win the title by beating all the male equestrian. Amazing, right? Yes. 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 So the story of Arena as a Malaysian female equestrian archer also been published in one of documentary channel 
uh, in China Asia. Wow. wow. Really? Yes. Do you get it? You guys, do you guys have any uh, others new to share about sport? Uh, yes, I want to continue my suggestion, emergency, my news. Uh, do you know about Sukma? Sukma should yes. have at yes. Joko this year uh, on January, on July, but uh, because of COVID, uh, it postponed to 4 April next year, 2021. But uh, because right now, COVID-19 outbreak which entered in its third wave in Malaysia, so it postponed again to 2022. So that is my news that uh, this news is said by Datuk Sri Rizal American. Uh, but uh, on 2020, uh, the Suma, uh, the Suma, uh, is take place in Johor because uh, Johor have ready 99%. Uh, okay, I think that's all. <laughs> After this, I will continue. <laughs> uh, Farid? Anyone? Uh, I think I want to share what I read. Huh? Okay, Farid, you want to talk first? No, no, no. You first, you first. <laughs> Okay, so I want to share uh, regarding uh, thing latest uh, sports that have be, has been held, which is UFC. Uh, so basically, UFC is not a sport; it is an organization which is focusing on uh, mixed martial art. So mixed martial art is a kind of wrestling, sparring. So there's a lot of category which is uh, straw wigs, fly wigs, light wigs. So uh, my main focus that uh, I want to share, guess, is uh, so the article I read before is more focusing on Habib, uh, which is uh, you know the more the most you can say uh, inspiring people in UFC sports. Uh, so before before I move to the uh, to his achievement, I would like to share his background. Uh, his full name is Habib Abdul Abdul Manapovich Nurmagomedov. Uh, he was born in twenty September nineteen eighty eight. So actually, he's fighting in lightweight division, which is he has a very impressive record with no loss. So you know, uh, during this era, Islam uh, no more for it, yeah. really related to, you know, terrorism. But Habib is kind of different. He's a humble uh, wrestler. So besides of, you know, uh, information about sports, we can actually inspire people to, you know, be kind, even in sports. So I think, uh, this uh, article we should include in our uh, section. In our, uh, yeah, that's it. That's it from anyone else? Far Farid? Right. Farid? Okay. Uh, you guys know about football? Nation football? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah Farid. Yes. Yeah, football uh, is a good topic. Uh, but uh, do you know that uh, Malaysian Cup has been postponed due to no. COVID-19? Yes, I, I have heard it before. Yeah. So Malaysian Cup has been postponed by the government because of COVID-19. So uh, this will affect the team and the management because uh, if they postpone the the tournament, then it will be uh, more cost. So MFL uh, suggests to the government that 
uh, Malaysian Malaysia Malaysia Cup should be proceed, but it, with a certain procedure. So uh, many people like uh, they agree, but but other people not agree with that uh, suggestion. So. Um, the, the issue has been uh, proposed to the government, but uh, we we don't get the result yet. So I think it's all. Okay, anyone? Uh, I want to talk about Safawi Rasik. Do you know who is Safawi Rasik? Yes. yes. Yeah, mostly everyone know who is. Mostly he is a winger and also he is a play as a striker. Then he is one of the professional footballer. And then I read an article about uh, his achieve, achievement, which is from the start. Then, as we all know, Safawi has grown into a better player since he joined JDT in 2017. And then he managed to score 26 goals in 64 wow. appearance before moving uh, to the Portuguese club. Do you hear about that? Yes. No. Portuguese. Okay. <laughs> Portuguese, <laughs> Portuguese club. Ah, Port Portimonense. Okay. Oh, so for uh, last season, he turned up as a top scorer in Malaysian Cup with eleven goal, and then he voted as a tournament's best player, and then he managed to got season loan, se a season long loan to Portimonense by JDT. So, in this team, he managed to play two Liga Revol Revelaku match under 23 side. And then he managed to give his best appearance and in that match. Uh, I think what I conclude is Safawi has a good quality to make it big. And then make nation proud to see his achievement in the future. I think that's all. Atika, do you have any idea? Let me share my news. Aisha. Okay, yes. so uh, I will talk about the project. Ourself, uh, if we want to do sport during COVID nineteen, uh, this I read, I read this news, uh, in the Star. So, uh, the step, the few step that they have list is, uh, firstly, uh, if we have the symptom, we need to stay at home. Then, uh, we need to make a smaller size of team, so that so that uh, the COVID-19 do not spread to many people easily. Uh, next. Next, uh, they say about uh, we need to reduce the physical closeness between the players if possible. So at least we need to maintain sit fit between ourselves and our teammate if possible. Uh, other than that, oh, other than that, uh, they also list about if it is possible for us to wear face masks during sport, we need to wear it. But uh, if the sports like running, uh, we should not wear the face mask if it causes the difficulty to our breathing. So, I think that's all the news that I want to share. Uh, Amirul? Okay, next, uh, I will share about the cycling sport. 
Do you know the title of the rocket equipment? Uh, who is Azizul yes. uh, Hasni Awang? Cycle from Terengganu. Yes. He also get a gold medal for the. I choose this title because uh, he is a very independent athlete. Uh, because he also get a gold medal for the Olympic, and during the Olympic before, they he has a problem with the sponsor that when take from sponsor him and he ignore the other issue and stay positive to make a prop of Malaysia that get a gold medal for the Olympic and he also get a get a, also get a medal for the Anugerah Atlet Terbaik for the Anugerah Satuan Malaysia Malaysia SNM and he also said that uh, the Malaysian before this uh, do not during uh, do, do the cycling athlete as yes, do not focus on the cycling uh, activity and during this now day. Many people do uh, cycling during the COVID-19 and it's also have a good activity for the to become a healthy person. So he also uh, get an uh, icon for the other athlete to make a uh, prop of nation. I think this is a good uh, article that I read. Alright, that's all for me. Uh, okay, I will continue uh, for my sport, which is uh, badminton. Um, I'm taking uh, like Dato Lin as a, uh, as a article for my uh, research for sport. This is because of Dato Lin is a former world number one in Malaysia, and also uh, he has a many he has a lot of achieve, achievement uh, in badminton uh, in badminton. So what I'm going to uh, tell you guys is about the uh, about his re retirement and uh, and his life in badminton world. Um, during uh, two thousand during two thousand fifteen, uh, Dato Lin uh, Dato Lin Chawe has been banned from the badminton just because of doping doping issue, and all his uh, silver award had been uh, stripped um, by the. Uh, by the management because of that issue and also uh, as we know uh, during uh, 2019 uh, Dr. Lin Chowi has announced that he he had been retired from uh, badminton uh, badminton because of um, he had been diagnosed uh, stage one of cancer nose uh, after after he had been di uh, he had been diagnosed and been uh, during and had been uh, treatment with the uh, with his daughter. He, his daughter said that he need to uh, he need to stop uh, for uh, his training and also for his competition. Just because of uh, if he didn't stop his uh, training or competition, uh, his uh, cancer will become worse. And also because of this, this is, uh, this will give the bad memories. Uh, for the Dato in Chawe because of uh, he because of at 2019 he just want to uh, uh, get again uh, his uh, his rank because of at 2015 uh, his ranking dropped because of doping issue so this uh, after doping issue he had training hard uh, to gain uh, to gain his ranking but after that he had been diagnosed of cancer so this this uh, give uh, bad memories to he to him, but uh, at the same time, it also give uh, some uh, time for him to uh, to spend time with his wife and his uh, uh, his uh, children at home. 
Uh, so that's all for me for badminton. Okay, now I think everyone has uh, shared their articles. So anyone would like to comment on others member? Or you can you guys can choose any of two from eight. Okay, lah. Start first. Uh, I think uh, I do agree with uh, Afika and Izni point uh, because they both Malaysians. So for Li Chongwei, I think uh, the reason I I agree with Afika point is because. First of all, uh, besides sports, Li Chongwei actually uh, encourage our people, our people, to to be more united and be more patriotic. And second, because he has a lot of achievement in Malaysia and even in international stage. And same goes to Safawi. Uh, he brings uh, our country name Malaysia in Portugal. So besides we talk about sports, we can actually inspire people to, you know, make them as a example. Anyone would like to add their points? No. <laughs> so we choose not uh, <laughs> okay we choose Afika, I choose Afika and Izni. Yeah, I, I, I agree. Okay, anyone else? Amirul, uh, you choose. Afika, so and Izni, because the proud of Malaysian to give a for another athlete. Great achievement. Agree. So majority. Yes, I'll. Yeah. 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 <laughs> okay. So we don't have a lot of time. Uh, majority said, uh, Lichowe and Safavi will be so on our news. Uh, that's all from us. Thank you for your time. All right. Yeah. Thank you. Bye. Yeah. Thank you. See you on next meeting. Uh, so next meeting, apa? Health, then. Eh?